Strings in Java are everywhere. We use them to output a result in the console and experienced developers use strings to log activities and programs. Java has a very powerful implementation of string. In this video lecture, we will look at the most important string methods and use cases in the context of test automation. Firstly, we need to understand that string is not a primitive Java type. It's a class. You can ask, what is the difference? The answer is methods. Java classes are something more than just containers for a single value. A class can also contain methods related to it. In test automation, there is a set of the most popular actions that need to be performed with a string. 1. Creation. We cannot do anything with a string until it is declared. 2. Calculation of a string length. As example, to verify that text does not exceed 160 characters length. 3. Check whether a string is empty or not. 4. Find a substring in a string. For instance, you need to ensure that a greeting message contains a username. 5. Cut a part of string. Very important feature for situations when we know a string pattern and need to work with a specific part of it. 6. Compare two strings. Here it is without any comments because it's obvious that sometimes we need to be sure that two strings are equal to each other. 7. Remove spaces from start and in the end of string. All items from the list above, we need practice. Let's do it in Eclipse. We need to create a new class in course.basics package. We set the name string demo and choose private static void main checkbox. String can be created in several ways. The most common way is to assign a string value to a variable in quotes. That's how we can create a yes string assigned to the line a variable. Now we can calculate a line length. We create an int variable line length and assign it to a value which the method length returns. The dot after the line serves for invocation of methods, a result we have to output in a console. Run the class, and the result in the console is line length 3. Checking a string for emptiness is simple. We need to invoke the isEmpty method for the string. isEmpty method returns true if the string is empty and false if it is not. That's how we check the line string. A console output for this example is is line empty false? Now we want to reassign an empty value to the line variable, repeat system out print ln, and run the class again. A console output for this example is is line empty true? For the next method demonstration, we need to create a new one string variable. Let's name it phrase and assign the value hello java students. What if we want to know if the phrase contains the word java? Let's apply the method contains to the phrase. And the result is phrase contains Java true. One of the most frequent cases in automated testing related to strings is an extraction of a particular part of a string. As a rule, we need to get a number value from a string. Let's assume we have a string variable named product with the value price 525.
In order to extract 525 from the string, we need a substring of the product from a concrete position. How do we define the position? We need to find an index of colon and add it to number 2. We need to find an index of dollar and subtract number 1 from it. And finally, invoke the substring method with these index values. The console output is 5.25. When two strings need to be compared, we have to use equals method. Let's create three new strings, car1, BMW. Car2, Audi. Car3, BMW. And we can compare them with the help of equals method. Is car1 equals to car2? Is car1 equals to car3? The console output is car1 equals to car2 is false. Car1 equals to car3 is true. Just as popular is the string method trim. With its help, we can remove spaces from the start and in the end of a string. Let's check it out. The new string variable is line with spaces with a value pure text. Add some spaces in the start and in the end of the string. Now we can apply trim method. Here is the console output. In summary, we want to say that in practice we have to mix different string methods to achieve a desired result. So we recommend playing with string methods and you will see how powerful they are.